Well, New York State lifted an awful lot of restrictions this week, but not the 10 p.m. closing time for restaurants. So that lawsuit is going forward now. And Tonya Sides' Ron Plants joins us now. He is live with a look at what's happening there. Ron, any news on this front? Well, Scott, uh, I was able to actually to speak to attorney Corey Hogan of the Hogan Willig Law Firm just a short while ago. He's handled a number of these cases with a lot of other attorneys, obviously. Now, Hogan maintains that their successful challenge to the uh, orange zone restrictions, just like that case, uh, that forced the state's hand, of course, that just like that case, again, there is a low transmission rate of just 1.4% for restaurants, and there is nothing to really back up the state's curfew case as well. Of course, earlier this week, Governor Cuomo told reporters the 10 p.m. curfew was going to stay in place as far as he was concerned because of his concerns that there was too much of the drinking and mingling, which could in turn cause restaurants, turn them into bars, and then cause the virus to spread. So. Here's attorney Corey Hogan on that point. The 10 o'clock thing, I know the governor has got that idea in his head that somehow that, 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 that's a, that there's a negative to that, but we haven't seen anything. Doesn't mean we wouldn't look at anything or even consider some type of a compromise where we're not trying to do anything other than try to get the state open and keep these businesses alive so they, we don't lose them all. So here's an idea of some of the uh, legal maneuvering going on behind the scenes again. Uh, Hogan actually is going to be appearing before a federal judge virtually on Monday. That is because the state wanted this case to go to federal court. Uh, they felt that there were too many cases that were being decided against the state in state courts. So they wanted it in federal court. But uh, Corey Hogan was able to strip out some of the constitutional arguments, so he feels the judge is going to stand it back to state court. You got all that? We'll see how all that plays out on Monday. Uh, coming up at 6, I'm also going to tell you about another case they're handling in regards to hair salons and how they're trying to deal with the state in terms of restrictions there as well, and of course the impact upon the livelihood of a lot of small business owners. Reporting live from downtown Buffalo, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Scott? We